Is he not? No, he's on here. Okay, cool. Nash. Nash is going to go all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. If you play that character, I, I'm i sorry, but... There's a lot of flaws with that character. He's very... He, he doesn't have V-Trigger bullshit, which makes him weak right off the bat. Just not having a very strong, like, robbing type of trigger. I feel bad for my Nash players. If you play Nash, pick a better character. Or stick with him at, uh... Uh, I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you for sure. Dalsum. You play this character? Oh, man. Your anterior jab got absolutely fucked this season. Dalsum gets fucking mauled this patch. Okay, that's all you gotta know. Unless if you're playing Geef, you're fucked against this matchup, but that's about it. That's about it. I think that's the only matchup that Sim still does really well in. They did change up Seth a little bit. They made the jump sort of dive kick thing less abusable. Ed is not bad. I, he got he got quite a bit of stuff that makes him kind of a little bit more scary now. So his stand stand strong, yeah, his stand strong is really fucking good. His V trigger one. Now I think I saw a video. So hold on. After V trigger one, if he if he does it correctly, he can link a shit ton of standing medium punches. But that's not the only thing they changed. He also gets pressure off of his flicker punch now. So he can do like a certain specific combo. You get knocked up in the air. He does flicker, and you get corner carried you get corner carried like the entire freaking screen essentially ryu got chonky he got chonky this patch this patch my man is thriving ryu's v trigger 2 is really really usable now it's not just a meme where you just try to parry you know you can use it in combos very nice uh v trigger 1 uh it does the same thing that chun same thing that chun does essentially you can link uh Oh no, Chun gets it automatically. So Chun is probably, I think, the only character that can link lights into mediums in this game. Yes, don't quote me on it, but I think I am like 90% correct for the most part. Could be wrong, 10%. But uh, Ryu's V Trigger 1 essentially lets him link his lights into mediums, and that's that's pretty damn strong. But most of the time, I think you'll see V Trigger 2, that character. But he's not bad. He's not bad. He's in a good spot. Chun. She has very good tools. Very good tools in the neutral. Uh, long range buttons. Very scary stuff. Fireball. Um, and they, I think they buffed her a little bit too. But anyways, to move on. To move on. I think we're going to put Alex in the middle. My man is bitching now. He is no longer in the crap tier. Just trying to survive begging for buffs my man is thriving now he gets legitimate good pressure from a uh, medium elbow he gets a good solid light conversion that leads into a knockdown and it's very confirmable the stand light kick into chop very nice as well it can lead into another mix-up since you have a five frame power bomb well if you spend the meter of course my man is juiced this season mika Mika is always going to stay in A. She's always going to stay in A. Be why? Because she's a casino. You're not playing Street Fighter V. You want to know how to train for this matchup? You want to know how to learn the Mika matchup? You want to go to FlipSimulator.com. So heads, you're going to jump command throw. I'll just call it SPD since I can't fit everything. Tails, you get comboed to death. All right, boys. A minute. I'll give you a minute to decide. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, Tails, you're going to get combo to death. But are you correct? Heads, you jump the SPD. Tails, you get thrown. And from that throw, you fucking die. Alright. What's it going to be, boys? Boom! If you guessed Heads... You absolute fucking genius. Everyone who voted Tails, you guys suck at the fucking Mika matchup. Drop the game. Take your ass to coinflippersimulator.com and practice the fucking matchup. Because clearly you guys are getting command thrown to death every single time you fight a Mika. Now listen, I'll do it. I'll do it, okay? I'll do it. I'll guess. I'll show you guys how good I am at the Mika matchup. I will show you that I am a master of the matchup. I can, I, every time I run into a Mika, I never fucking lose. You want to know why? Big brain. It's going to be heads because Mika players love their command throws. If it's not heads, 
the stream is over and I will never fucking complain. I won't say anything about you guys. Maybe maybe you're the guns that are correct. It's heads. Boys. Boys, like I said, master of the fucking matchup. You can't I'm telling you, okay, it's gonna be tails. It's gonna be tails this time. You wanna know why? Cause I know the matchup. Boom! Bada bing, bada boom, boys. You wanna know why? Because I know the matchup, and you know what? It's gonna be heads now. It's gonna be heads. I'm a f I, I know the matchup like the back of my hand. Heads. Heads, baby. Who I know the matchup, boys. I know the matchup. That's enough. That's it. That's it. No more. The 10 or 11 of you guys, they got that shit correct. Congratulations. You can one day become a big brain like me. I don't know where to put Geef, to be honest, boys. Geef is a little bit weird because Geef can be crap, but he can also be bitchin'. He can be pretty bitchin'. And the reason why he can be bitchin' is because, uh... <sighs> They nerfed his stand heavy punch. They nerfed his stand heavy punch, and it was—it actually was a kind of really like. I, w I don't know why they did that to that man. I would say Geef. Geef is the only character in this game that I think actually has, like nine, uh, like eight two matchups. He's not consistent. I would say. I guess I guess we'll put him in C. We'll put him in C. We'll put him in C. Akuma. S for stupid. Still a very stupid character. Very dumb. He can still rob you very frequently. There's uh, there's a lot of stuff that that character can still do. They removed the, the brain dead uh, side switch, but um, it still works for the most part if they go for a different route. But uh, they have to spend resources in order to do that. But Akuma, for the most part, still a very dumb character. Uh, very good. Very Bison. I wouldn't say he's top tier uh, for stupid. But uh, he is alright. He is an alright character. The only thing that I would say right now is Bison players, 100%, without a doubt, cannot fucking anti her for the life of them. Bison players cannot anti her. I, I, uh, I was in ranked the other day. Stand jab or crouch jab. That shit does not work. I think there was only a few of them that did jump medium punch. Or crouch heavy punch. There are very few of them. But uh yeah, character for the most part is still pretty dumb. The only thing that's different is um the matchup changed a little bit for some characters because he can't just do brain dead like uh back throw into down forward heavy punch. He they, you can V shift that now, and you can actually get a pretty good punish, a pretty a pretty substantial punish depending on which character you play. Uh, so the, the meaties, the meaties are kind of gone, but it, it, honestly, it's more of a risk to you than it is to him. He still has the e, the fuck neutral, the EX neutral mid screen. Those are the EX scissors or the EX set stop. G, command throw, you get a lot. He can still, he still has very strong mix up. They didn't really change anything about him. Um... Scrub killer, but also a very good character at a high level. He pretty much just got buffed. They didn't really nerf him. They just buffed him because of E shift. I would still play G. If you're if you're playing G, you're living good. Yuri, not a bad character. Um, you can still get away with a couple of stuff, but she's just not very consistent because she isn't as good as the other characters up here. Like Yuri has some bullshit, like her throw, her forward throw. They can you know you can mix that up. But I wouldn't say she's abu as abusive as the characters that I have up here. Dan? Honestly, Dan's bitchin'. Dan's not up here, alright. He's not stupid, either. He's not, like, top tier. I would say, uh... I would say Dan is bitchin'. Dan's issues right now that I'm seeing is Dan doesn't get consistent damage. The reason why I haven't been bitchin', though, and not alright, is because the V-Trigger 1 is alright. Um... And it's the only V-Trigger in the game currently that only has uh, one bar. That's very unique to him. And you can pretty much, you can get a lot of damage if used correctly. Uh, even in, in uh, it can also leave you in plus situations, which is pretty good in the corner. He has good pressure with his light Tatsu, I guess I can call that that. But I, I would just call it an E. But yeah, V-Trigger 2 is also pretty much just Sakura V-Trigger 2. Essentially is what it is. 
His V skill 2 allows him to really be more unique as a character. You can be creative with combos, I guess I would say. And his V skill 1 gives him pressure off of like DPs or being safe off of fireballs. And that's really fucking good. I feel like V skill 1 is very underrated. And I don't know why people don't really use it all that much. But V skill 1 is very underrated with Ed. I mean, not Ed, Dan. Poison? Poison's still pretty good. I think she got buffed as well. They nerfed a little bit of stuff on her, like her EX heart rate, but for the most part, I think she's fine. She still has most of the same stuff as before. Her anti year crouching medium punch, still very good. Combo still do a lot of damage. Character's in a good position. Abigail? Abigail's bitchin' as well. It's not amazing, but he's bitchin'. Let me put him in front of Alex real quick. He does have some bad matchups, uh, granted. Like G, fighting against G is gonna be disgusting. Some guest situations can still lead to death. Uh, even if you do have V-Shift, get, if he gets the right read, you're still gonna die. Fang? I don't know much about this character, but I don't. he's not bad. He can still put you in a lot of situations where he's plus, and if you don't know the matchup, you're gonna die. Fang, I would say, is a scrub killer. So if you do know the matchup, it's still kind of bad for some characters if you don't have a 3-frame. Alora, Casino. Kind of like Mika, but the thing about Laura is that she legitimately has a scary command throw loop it's just it's disgusting character can be very dumb but she's nice she's nice she's not bad sakura i wouldn't say she's amazing but she is bitching she i, I feel like she has uh easier I, I guess i'll put her in front because she has easier access to damage her walk speed is fucking insane she's just scary man she's just scary she just she has a lot of tools to work with that make her really good stand light kick very dangerous stand medium kick good neutral tool her jump ends hit really fucking deep Karen, stupid, stupid character. Very strong neutral game. Very good buttons that poke. Good conversions. Corner carry. Not much that I can say about her besides that she's good. She's really good. Rog got some buffs. Here out for the Rog boys. I think Brian went over the buffs, right? Let's go to Boomer F's channel. Okay, so stand medium punch forces stand. Standing heavy punch changed. I don't know what they changed to Standing Heavy Punch. Oh, I know. Uh, they made it more whiff punishable. That's what they did. I don't want to give Boomer F the ad revenue. <laughs> I'll give him. I'll give him the revenue. I'll give him a little bit of a little bit of money. I gotta help my old men, right? Now there's a whole. Oh, that's right. You can also get uh, V Skill Two more easily off of stuff. So you just get. You can get. You can charge V Skill Two more easily. This tower combo into V Skill Two. This tower combo into V skill 2, or the upper into V skill 2. Wow, okay. Okay, so V skill V skill 2 is pretty much uh, cracked. You did. Just V trigger 2. Hindsight is more damage. That's it. Salty. Nah, he wasn't salty. That was, that was, just, for, that was just for memes. That was just for memes. <laughs> That's some good games, though. Some good games for sure. I, I enjoyed my time. Manat. Uh, uh, uh. Honestly, I don't see a lot of them. I kind of want to put her in crap because Alex fucking destroys her. But I think I think she's all right. If anything, I'll put her last. I'll put her like in the last category of, of like bitching. Just just because uh, I don't feel like the character is that scary. But then again, that's because me personally, Alex just mauls her. Kage, Kage's, I would say Kage's bitching. Character is a little bit scary now. Before he was like, yeah, you know, like. I don't know the matchup, so it's a. Uh, I may lose this, but now it's like, oh shit, I don't know the matchup. I'm probably gonna lose this. He's bitching. God was bitching. Even though they nerfed his booms to be zero, he's still good. He has the strongest fireball game this patch still. That goes uncontested. Still very good character. His buttons are still good. His, they nerfed his fireball game. Uh, in terms of like pressure, his buttons and neutral are still very very nice, and that is why a character is still bitching. Uh, I'm just gonna put her there because I just don't know enough about her. I haven't seen anything about her that makes her truly scary. I don't think her neutral game is all that strong. Blanca. Blanca's bitching as well. He's not crap. Honda got some big boy buffs. It is insane how much buffs Honda got. Undeserved. Ken? I'm putting him last. I'm putting him last for sure. I think he's probably like the, wor like the worst Shoto. That doesn't necessarily mean that he's a bad character. It's just that 
he's not the strongest character uh, as a Shoto. Yeah, I don't know much about Birdie. In fact, I don't even know what they changed on him all that much. But I think it's safe to put him in front of Honda. Maybe not, though. Maybe Honda might be a little bit better than Birdie. Birdie's still a decent character. He still has a lot of bullshit. After Critical Art, you still have a dash standing heavy kick for free. Guess situation. So you, he's either going to dash standing heavy kick into like a full combo that does a shit ton of damage. Or he's just going to command throw for a shit ton of damage. No avoiding it. The three musketeers. Kami, Karen, Chun. Very good characters. Putting Kami there because she still has a lot of brain dead uh, block strings. Or just pressure. She can just do like crouch medium punch. Walk forward, crouch medium punch. To little of like... With little to no risk. Because if it hits once, you just get a spiral arrow into more pressure. Even though you can V-shift her a uh, dive kicks, it's still a very big risk. Because what if she doesn't go for the dive kick? Because if she doesn't go for the dive kick, then you just wasted a bar of like V-meter. And she's just still going to press a button on the way down. Because it will still hit you. Yurian, very good character. A lot of strong pressure. Uh, very good corner carry. Very strong V-trigger. V-trigger 1. Uh, v trigger 2 i still don't think v trigger 2 is better than aegis very strong neutral invincible dp might i add um and a very strong v trigger zeku i don't know much about him but he's not in the bitchin tier that's for sure he's in the amazing tier he's not that bad ibuki eh, she's all right she's she's bitchin i would say better than not sagat sagat got buffed to shit i believe we'll put him right there Put him right there. He's a little bit cracked, a little bit juiced. He's living good. His stuff just leads to more pressure, essentially. Besides the fireballs. The fireball game is stronger. He gets more added on pressure. The knees, I think, were improved as well. They did quite a bit of things for him. Vig is bitchin', for sure. Character's not bad. His V skill 2 is pretty strong. Very long range, very long ranged character. Colleen. They nerfed her V-Trigger 2, thank fucking god. I'd say she's bitchin' for sure. Gil, uh, he's alright, but he's not, like, amazing. They didn't change it to the point where it really makes a difference, I would say. You know? Cody? I'll put him, like, right there. He's not bad either. But he's still in mid tier. He's not like amazing or anything. I think the only the only significant change that Cody got is that they made his, his sand take more priority. His wake up, his wake up sand, um, it takes priority now. So you can pretty much stuff a lot of things on wake up if your opponent does it meaty correctly. It's all about V trigger two. If you, it's V trigger one, it does not include robbery, which makes it not a good V trigger. Young Zeku is better than old Zeku for sure. I guess I can do that. Falk. They buffed her, but I don't know much about her, so I'm not going to say a lot about her. Nikali as well. Don't know enough about him, but it didn't really make a difference. Rashid's still at the top, for sure, though. Very dumb character. There isn't much to say. I don't think they made any significant buffs or nerfs to that character. He's still really nice. His tornado is a plus two. Oh, that's what they did? Really? Nice. That's good for him. Cool. Perfect. There you go. I think that puts my thoughts perfectly. And with that being said, I think I am done recording. Two to the one, to the one, to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three to the one, to the one, to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the deep.